problem 2 about the limit set infinity when x tends to infinity the limit of the given function is equal to I always prefer to take the parentheses of some x's or if you have exponential functions e to the power x it depends on the given function in the question okay so for this problem, it's better to take the parentheses of x square, since you have x square both in numerator and denominator. But it's not a general rule. Sometimes you take the parentheses of x to the power seven. Uh, you may try if if you take if you do not have a, a proper result. If you take the parentheses of x to the power seven, then you change your way. You try to take the parentheses of x square. And continue to solve the problem okay limit when x tends to infinity as I told you I prefer to take the, uh, the parentheses of x square and I have 3 x to the power 5 minus 4 plus 1 over x square 1 over x square the same I do the same thing for the numerator for denominator 5 over x square minus 10 okay let me first cancel these two terms okay then I have then I have this limit expression is equal to limit x tends to infinity uh, I have 3 x to the power 5 minus 4 plus 1 over x square 1 over x square divided by 5 over x square minus 10 okay as you see when x approaches to infinity this term approaches to infinity this term goes to 0 this term goes to 0 goes to 0 and finally you have a very large very big number in numerator and a negative number in denominator so it means you have a very small number that is since I cannot exactly say which is that number I write minus infinity okay the second example we have a square root function even if I have square root function I, I have uh, I will take the parentheses of x or x square okay I will try if I take the parentheses of if I take the inside of the square root the parentheses of x square I have limit when x tends to minus infinity let me write x square times 7 over x square plus 9 okay divided by 1 minus x 1 minus 2x sorry okay the next step is limit when x tends to minus infinity minus infinity if you want to take out x square to inside of the square root you must have absolute sign so it, it becomes absolute value of x and I write the rest 7 over x square plus 9 divided by 1 minus x if I take denominator in the parentheses of x I have 1 over x minus 2 so continue to solve the problem when x tends to infinity it means x always gets uh, negative numbers so absolute value of x becomes x and the same square root expression plus 9 divided by x 1 minus 1 over x minus 2 and you cancel these two terms okay finally this term will go to 0 this term will go to 0 and you will finally have square root of 9 divided by minus 2 and the final result is and do not forget that we have a minus here we have a minus here so the result is 3 over 2 okay this minus and this minus becomes positive 
the next question we again have a square root function denominator instead of numerator so this limit expression is equal to when x tends to infinity I, I want to take again the parentheses of x here so I have 1 plus 8 over x I use, I use exactly the same idea I take uh, the parentheses of x squared inside of the square root function it means I have 2 plus 3 over x squared here and uh, it's possible to write this x square is possible to take out this x square in front of uh, the square root function here x tends to infinity x 1 plus 8 over x divided by absolute value of x becomes x since x tends to positive numbers x always gets positive numbers absolute value of x becomes x and the square root expression 2 plus 3 over x square again I can cancel these two x's and when x tends to infinity this term goes to 0 this term goes to 0 finally I have 1 over 2 as a result another nice example when x tends to infinity if you directly plug if you if you directly consider when x tends to infinity for this difference you will have mine you will have infinity minus infinity which is not meaningful uh, but we know that when we have a square root function it's logical it's meaningful to multiply the given expression by its conjugate so if I multiply the given expression by its conjugate I have x to the power 6 plus 5 minus x cube uh, divided by x to the power 6 plus 5 plus x cube times the same expression x to the power 6 plus 5 plus x cube it's conjugate okay so this limit expression is equal to limit x tends to infinity and we have a minus b a plus b so a square a square minus b square a square uh, a square is x to the power 6 plus 5 x to the power 6 plus 5 b square is x to the power 6 minus b square divided by square root expression okay x cube and you cancel these two terms when x tends to infinity denominator tends to infinity and hold this expression goes to zero okay very nice example and the other example contains an exponential function x tends to minus infinity in this case and we have this complicated exponential function uh, so we have two ways either we take the parentheses of e to the minus 3x or we take the parentheses of e to the power 8x in both numerator and denominator it's all up to us but one way is right the other one is wrong if I take the parentheses of e to the minus 3x exponential minus 3x exponential minus 3x okay then I have 1 minus 2 times e to the power 11x to get uh, exponential 8x I must multiply by exponential 11x so this is 9 exponential 11x minus 7 okay and this is equal to be careful about this expression x tends to minus infinity not positive infinity since x tends to minus infinity this term this term does not go to infinity okay this term 
goes to zero and this term also goes to zero okay since the power becomes negative so you have a number you have one over one over exponential something with respect to x and x tends to infinity in this case one over denominator tends to infinity implies this term tends to zero okay and finally we have finally we have one over minus seven minus one or seven and the final example in the final example we have a trigonometric function which is sine x if you have trigonometric functions I strongly suggest you that use the sandwich rule or skews rule skews theorem we know that sine and cosine are in between minus 1 and 1 okay minus 1 and 1 sine x sine x is in between minus 1 and 1 so I have to multiply by 7 to obtain this function minus 7 7 sine x 7 I have to add the term x to obtain the function x minus 7 x plus 7 sine x and x plus 7 okay and I have to divide each term by minus 2x plus 13 minus 2x plus 13 minus 2x plus 13 minus 2x plus 13 okay since I do not know I do not have an idea about the limit of this expression I should check the limit of these two functions and use the sandwich rule when x tends to infinity the, the limit of this function the limit of this function is minus 1 over 2 and the same is for this the same of uh, the same is uh, for this the limit of this function okay and finally using the sandwich rule this limit has go to uh, has to go to the same numerical value okay using the sandwich theorem we found the answer of this limit okay I think it's enough for the time being let me give a homework for you limit when x tends to infinity 5x plus 2 cosine x 2 cosine x divided by 3x minus 14 so how do you solve this limit problem